Hi, everybody. It sounds like a couple people are um, uh, asking some questions about our Bean Lab write up. And so I just wanted to real quickly give you um, uh, maybe explain a couple things or try to clarify some stuff. So we've wrapped up class and you guys were still, you guys had just finished your counts of your beans and was waiting for people to enter the beans in the data sheet. So just as a reminder, what you're doing for this week's lab write-up, um, and again, it's, it's just a simple, it's not meant to be a formal lab write-up in the sense of a, a traditional structure from some of your, um, say, intro bio labs or something like that. This is, so this is what you're going to do. So this is, this part here is just, this part here is just what you guys should do to understand what's going on. Okay, so this is a suggestion, stare at the data, look at what's going on, et cetera. And then you should start making some graphs. And what you're going to turn in what you're going to submit as far as your actual write-up is this stuff, this stuff down here, right? This blue stuff. And so, what you're going to do is you're going to um, in, you're going to create when you're done with this, just submit a single PDF. So one one thing that you submit that'll have four graphs: how communities vary in richness, how they vary in evenness, how they vary in heterogeneity, and then how quadrat size might impact. Right? Remember, we had two different quadrat sizes. We had the uh, quarter meter by quarter meter measures and then we had the half meter by half meter measures right and so so how, how does that impact stuff and you, and you could you could visualize that in a whole bunch of different ways so it's your choice um and uh and so this this, this first one here like how do, how do communities vary here's a quick example i just grabbed the data really quick and made a super quick graph so this isn't done this isn't fully labeled and everything but just to give you a sense right what i've done here is i've i have my communities on the bottom and then in this case, I'm showing uh, EVAR, right? So evenness. And then here's our measure of evenness. And I'm using the average, the average value, right? We measured, so some of, sometimes we, we didn't have a community at all. Sometimes we, we measured it once, as looks looks like happened here. One of our groups didn't give us their data yet. So when I calculated this, I, we didn't have that included. But, but so sometimes we had only one measure, but in most cases we had we had several measures. And so this these bars represent the average of everybody's independent samplings. And then I calculated how noisy the data was, in this case represented by the standard error. And that's what's represented here. We have multiple samples for community one, for community four, community seven, and community 11. And this is with the, the half meter by half meter uh, grid data. Um, and so therefore we could calculate error. For these communities here, we didn't have, we only had a single measure for the half meter by half meter um, a, a data. So we couldn't calculate an error, but that gives us a sense of how the data is falling out. So that's what I'm talking about. Show how your variable varied uh, over these different communities, S something like that. Of course, you, you have free license to make a, a more engaging graph, but something on that order of magnitude. Next, I have some questions, right? So I have questions one, two, three, four, five. So these you're going to answer, you know, uh, three, four, five, six sentences, something like that, right? So, so um, uh, uh, you can just say question number one, colon, and then type out your answer, right? So, so complete professional writing, but but you don't have to have a big formal, um, you know, long lab write up kind of thing, and all those will go into one document. And then lastly, I'll just say, so this is these are these are the data that you guys have to work with, right? So as a reminder, this is the stuff that you gave me, right? And so this is the um, half meter by half meter quadrat. This is the quarter meter by quarter meter quadrat, for example. And this is the community. Here's community seven. Here's community one, 10, right? And in this case, this is, um, and then which group, which group here um, was the entity that did the survey? And then we have, you know, how many lima beans do we have? How many great northern beans, et cetera? Um, and down here, I've put the, the statistics for that particular measure for that particular group, okay? Now, what I've done is I've gone in and done the summary statistics for you. So if we look at this next page, here are all your summary statistics. So for example, here we have, here we have uh, community one, and this top row right here, this top row is the half meter by half meter quadrat, so 0.25 meter square area. Um, and this is the average of all of our samples, okay? So it's, an, it's in, in terms of how many minutes it took us to do, it took us an average of just over four minutes to survey um, that community. And uh, the, the standard error was a bit over two minutes. We measured a, an average of 286 individuals um, uh, it had a richness, an average richness of 11, so on and so forth. Does that make sense? And, uh, and so, so here we have means and standard error of time, 
mean and standard error of total individuals, mean and standard error of richness, mean and standard error of evenness, and heterogeneity, mean and standard error. And then the only other thing that might be a little bit confusing here is, so most, everything will have a mean, even if we just sampled it once, we have a mean, right? A mean of one is still, is still a mean. Um, it, it's not really super helpful, but nevertheless, it's a number. But we do not have a variance. So we have to have at least two measures for there to be some measure of the noisiness of the data. So in some cases, it looks like here, sample five, we only sampled one time with that quadrat, with that half meter by half meter quadrat. And so therefore, there's no variance. So when I graph that, there's no, there would be no, be no error bars on there. Okay, so I hope that helps out and maybe relieves some of the confusion you guys were having about, I'm, I'm not sure what to do, not sure what to look at. Um, look at both of these. This is where your summary statistics are. This is where you'll pull a lot of your data. But you know, some of the questions ask you, or ask you to think about how diverse the community is. And so you're probably gonna wanna look at that. So here's a, a measure for community seven, beanbag community seven. And you know, let me, let me just skim through this. And this might uh, help you answer some of the, the questions. So I hope that helps. I will see you guys soon and um, have a great day and, and good luck on this. I think you guys will do great. And, and hopefully I, I took care of any uh, confusion or, or wonderings about what the data is like. Thanks, everybody.